Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and get Hamaki set up. If you're unfamiliar with it, it is a virtual LAN client for the PS4. Um, it works on 5.5 and up to 9.00. Basically, it just creates a virtual network that lets you play with your friends only with games that are LAN playable. So the game we're going to be using for the video is Call of Duty Cold War. It allows us to play over the network. So let's go ahead and just get this set up. Um, I went ahead with the jailbreak already, and I went ahead with adding the package to the root of my USB. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and download that package file, but just go ahead and install it. It shouldn't take long at all. It's very small. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much complete now. Okay, so once that is done, we can go ahead and launch it. Okay, we'll give it a few moments here just to log us in. It does everything for you. There's nothing really difficult about it. Okay, and once it's done, we can go ahead and hit triangle to create a network. Now you can name the network whichever you want. Uh, for the video, I'll just go with uh, Echo Stretch. Okay, there we go, we'll hit R2 to be done, and the password would just go 1 to 8. Go ahead and done, and it will create the network automatically. Now once that is done, just go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. The app does stay open. Um, we'll go ahead and launch the Call of Duty. Okay, we'll give it a few moments here just to load up with Call of Duty. I should say now, um, just so you know, it has to be the same version. You and your friend need to be on for this here video. We are both will be on 1.27. So just make sure that you're on the same version. As for the title ID, if you're on a European version or a US version, that doesn't make a difference as long as the version number is the same. So we'll go back out and just launch the game. See if we can get this to skip ahead. Okay, so it's loaded now. And I will show you uh, from the other view as well, just so you can see how it connects. So we'll go into Zombies, and we're going to go ahead and hit X just to create a match. And as you can see, everything does come up. So let's go ahead and connect from the other PS4. Okay, so now that we're over onto our other PS4, I just created this user, it's just Echo Stretch YT. Um, I am on a different network, so we're going to go ahead and launch Hamaki. And we'll give it a few moments just to get us logged in on this PS4 as well. Okay, so it's logged us in, and we'll just go ahead and hit triangle, or sorry, square this time to connect to a network. And then we'll go ahead and type in the same information that we used to create the network. So it's echo stretch. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and type in the password, which is 1 to 8. And then go ahead and hit R2 for done. And it will join the network with no issues. Now that is done, we'll just go ahead and launch the game the same way we did on the other PS4. Okay, and we'll give it a few moments to load up. I will show you that uh, once we get loaded in here that I am on the same version as the other PS4. Um, if we go to Info, you can see that I am on 1.27. So we'll go ahead and just give this a few moments to load up. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there now. I do have a black screen. Um, there we go. And once we do get loaded in, when we do launch the zombies, we should see that network. 
Okay, so it is loading now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit X here. Go ahead and accept any agreements. Um, go ahead and hit X. Confirm and confirm. Go into zombies. Give it a few moments just to go through this little cutscene here. We should be able to skip it once uh, once it gets so far. Okay. And there you go, there's Echo Stretch. So we'll go ahead and just click on it. And it should bring us into the party. So let's go ahead and jump over to our other PS4 and we'll get this launched. Okay, so now we're over to the main PS4. We can go ahead and change the map if we want to. Um, choose whichever map you want. And it will switch. Uh, same with the modes. You can do anything you want in here as the uh, the host owner. But you can go ahead and just hit play. Now you both will need the same maps if you go ahead and use the DLC. But uh, with Call of Duty Cold War it does come with the DLC in the update. So as long as you're on the same update with this particular game everything should work. So we'll give it a few moments here to load in. Okay, we're just about to uh, finish there. Now I am doing this by myself, so I'll kind of have to control both controllers at the same time. But you will be able to see exactly how it's done. Okay, so I went ahead and skipped ahead just to get the loading a lot faster. Okay, so we are in. Um, so like I said, I am on two controllers here, but you can see that uh, we are both playing together on two different networks. So that's basically it for the video guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.